I need to keep away from these guys. Oh man, these people are crazy. I need a pickaxe for that. You have a new message. Hey, I'm sorry, but I can't meet you right now. I've noticed that there are survivors who are wandering around out here. They tried to kill me. And steal my stuff. So be very careful. The garden gate is closed, but you can craft a few lockpicks to open it. I'm transferring the lockpick blueprint to your computer. There. There's a crafting table in the garage of the house. The garage door is probably closed. How about you take a look at the fuse box? It's behind the couch near the bottom of the wall. There should be eight holes that you can position the fuse in. But I'm not sure which hole opens the door. You'll see the door open when the fuses are in the right hole. Oh, and uh, you'll need to check if the fuse is there, of course. If not, I have one in a small vase. It's upstairs on a bookshelf, close to my desk. There's something about the mind civilization that's somehow connected to our fate. I'll tell you about that later, though. Up and out.
Oh man, there's no room. You know what? I really need to declutter this bag. Now I'm the best thief in town. You have a new message. The, the Mayans were right, you know. The year 2012 wasn't really the end of the world, but more like a change of cycles. A point of no return. The cycle of one climate, human agriculture, finance and consummation. Our known society at that time has changed. The collapse of our society was orchestrated by our politicians because their only goal was to grow their own profits. They never stopped using fossil fuel and nuclear resources. People woke up at that point. And then revolutions occurred, or tried to. So, are we lucky to be alive today? I think that what's left for us here is uncertain danger. The only survivors that I've met tried to kill me. We have to be prepared and well equipped. So first, I'll search for more blueprints so we can craft more equipment. Then we'll have to travel to a large Mayan site called Chichen Itza so we can find answers to our past and our future. The travel to Chichen Itza is going to be long and perilous, so gather as many resources as possible. We'll probably have to build a car to drive over there. 
Oh, and listen, there's a city in the desert where I'm sure we can find useful resources. But be careful. You may see some of those dangerous survivors I was talking about. I guess the best way to get there is to follow the road until you arrive at the city. I'll get in touch when you're there. Up and out. My house was built in 2017 on an underground river. I think the river flows into a cave that was used by the Mayans. They collected their drinking water from the cave. The Mayans called these natural pits cenotes. According to my research, I can tell you that there's a 99% chance that you'll find a golden artifact in that cenote. The artifact was used by the ancient Maya for sacrificial offerings. The architect who built my house told me that he used the water from the underground river for the house. He made an entrance that leads to the river, but I don't know where it is exactly. Also, I've left a document on the bulletin board close to my desk. Of it explains how the Mayans counted. They used a base of 20, 0 to 19. Numbers after 19 were written vertically in multiples of 20. This means that the bottom number is multiplied by 1. The number on top of it is multiplied by 20. The number on top of that is multiplied by 400. And the number on top of that is multiplied by 8,000. Addition is performed by combining the numeric result at each level. Check my document and you'll understand. And I have good news for you. I found a bandage blueprint. I'll have it sent to your computer. You won't need the crafting table for this one, so you can make it anywhere directly from your inventory. Oh, hey, I've completely forgot one important thing. Don't go into the city before you get the golden Mayan artifact. You'll need to melt that gold and use it for making electrical machines.
Hey, it looks like a, a banana tree flower. If I can find some bananas, oh. I'll sort my starvation problem out for a while. Another one done. I can't take this. Nope. Don't have enough space in my backpack for this.
So this is the entrance, which means there's an artifact here. <laughs> 